Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th, okay? Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? This reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So what do we have for around the 19th? Four of Swords. Now, this is the death of a person or idea. This is something coming to an end. Somebody has felt lost, right? They've been feeling empty inside. This is, this is the end of a situation. It is. There's an angel around by the looks of things. So th this is the death of a person or idea. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Now the Wheel of Fortune reversed is a horrendous loss. I'm not here to sugarcoat things. Okay, the horrendous loss. This is bad luck. It's a setback. Something not working out. This is a shocking, unpredictable loss of some sort. The moon. All is not as it seems. There are hidden forces here. There's unseen problems ahead. Somebody's been wearing a disguise. There's some sort of illusion. Somebody has been living in some sort of illusion. Now, there's some sort of addictions as well. We have somebody here that has some addictions. They're not being realistic. Something is hidden. Somebody is hiding something. All is not as it seems. The moon card is ruled by the shadow. Something is off. Somebody is repeating. They're repeating a pattern. They're repeating a mistake. And there's going to be a loss because of it. This is my second daily vibe. The other one I'm not sharing, but it's very similar. So. Eight of Cups reversed. Somebody's been thinking about leaving. They've been taking their time in regards to making a decision. Pretending to be happy. This is false impressions. Refusing to move on from something that is not meant to be, with the Wheel of Fortune refers. Somebody has been refusing to move on. They've been stuck. Somebody has been stuck in some sort of illusion, in confusion, okay? They may have some addictions. They may have been hiding their feelings, burying their feelings. What is this Eight of Cups? We have a lack of spiritual growth, a lack of self-esteem and self-worth. We have somebody here that is very disappointed. They're experiencing a setback or they're experiencing a loss in their life and they're feeling dead inside. They're feeling empty inside. They're feeling at a loss and now their emotions are all over the place. Absolutely. Having a hard time mastering their emotions. They could be self-medicating. They could be experiencing an even, even bigger loss because they're not being practical. Somebody's, there's no practicality here at all. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. 
and somebody is struggling with the lack of clarity, a world card, this is a major ending. This is the end of a cycle. Somebody has been clinging to an old cycle. They are repeating something. They are repeating, this is a negative repetitive pattern. But that's an ending and this is the ending. So this is an end. It's the end of an era. It's the end of a phase. It's the end of a project. This is turning their back. Somebody is turning their back on something. They're walking away. They are. They've thought about it. Because this is the thinking about it. They've thought about it. Now they're doing it. Now they're, they're walking away. They're walking away from an illusion. Okay? They're walking away from something that was unrealistic. I just want to bring this up a little bit. Something has come full circle. There could be a change in residence here. It could be a shock. Okay, this is a shocking change. It is. It's very unpredictable. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. They've been pretending that everything is okay, but it's not. They've been in a bad situation pretending that everything is okay. While they've been in this situation, they've been drained. They've been having a lot of fears. They've been having a lot of anxiety. They've been worn down and frustrated. And they've been self-medicating. And when I say self-medicating happens in all different kinds of ways. But this is the end of an illusion. Oh my God, the Ten of Swords. So this is the death of a, again, this is the death of a situation, a painful separation. We do have a painful separation here. Okay? We do. We have somebody that is uh, in a lot of pain. We have somebody that's in a lot of pain. They are suffering. This is a mental or physical collapse. Can't do it anymore. This is a breakdown. There may be something that, you know, that is, uh, somebody's giving up. It's over. This is, this is like the, this is a death of a, I wouldn't be surprised if we get the death card. We had it in the, my other daily. This is the death of a situation. It is the end. It is the end of something that isn't meant to be with that wheel of fortune reversed somebody's been clinging to something and it's time to let go I feel, I feel like that something is coming to an abrupt ending all is not as it seems we have some and we may have some mental health issues some you know, mental illness. Okay. We definitely have suffering because of that Ten of Swords. That isn't, that's suffering. This is goodbye. It is absolutely goodbye. This is being defeated. This is feeling defeated. Somebody's past mistakes are haunting them. Now this could be an apology, so apologies may be needed. So yeah, this is the death of a person or idea. It's over. 
It's over. This something is over. It is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Queen of Swords. So this is the truth. Truth. Somebody is going to be receiving some sort of information. It's a fact. It's the truth. They're going to be hearing something that is very factual. They're going to be getting some factual information. Somebody is also dealing with a person that is very, very authentic, that cuts right to the chase. The Queen of Swords has some sort of information or she has some sort of truth. Something has been hidden. This truth is going to be spoken and it's going to cause somebody a lot of pain, okay? It's going to cause a lot of, but because this is the truth. Some sort of truth is about to come out. Somebody's going to get some sort of information that hurts. Okay? But this is the end of a painful situation as well. Because this is the end and this is a painful situation. Here comes some truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. This is the truth. I feel like we have a very intense situation that is about to unfold. We may have somebody here that um, they're spilling something. You know what I mean? It's like they're spilling something. They're saying something that is going to cause a breakdown. You know, this is a breakdown. This is almost like a disaster. It's like a catastrophe, you know? Huge change. Massive change here. Somebody's been lying. They've been hiding something. The truth is about to become known. Or it has become known. Something's not working out with that Wheel of Fortune reverse. Somebody's been pretending with the Eight of Cups. They've been pretending, but there is a person here that knows the truth. A new perspective is needed, and somebody's about to give a new perspective. Somebody may be getting a peace of mind from an individual that is very authentic, very truthful, very to the point. And when they get this peace of mind, they can't take it. They can't take the heat. That's what I feel. Somebody's been clinging to control. They've been holding on to something that isn't making them happy. They've been lying. They've been deceiving. There's been some self-deception. They've been self-medicating. But everything is about to change. Because the truth cannot be hidden. The truth cannot be hidden. I don't know if there's going to be something that is made public. With the world card, something, something could be made public. There could be a death. I'm just being honest with you. There is something happening where there's there's no going back. There's no going back. We may have somebody here that is ill. They're ill, you know. I 
I do feel like there's going to be a change. It's going to be a major change. This is the end because of that world card. This is a major change. Somebody is, uh, this is the completion of a cycle. They're learning a lesson. Somebody is learning a lesson about betrayal. There's been some sort of betrayal. The betrayal is going to be revealed. It's been hidden. This betrayal is going to end some sort of Well, somebody was thinking something. You know, it's like an idea. They were thinking it was going to turn out this way. It's not going to turn out that way. It's going to go in a different direction. Somebody was stopping. They were stopping something. You know, with that Wheel of Fortune reverse, they were stopping. Some sort of somebody's success. They were stopping somebody's success by lying. There were some sort of lies, and it's really hard to explain. There's been a lot of confusion. There's been a lot of confusion, but the confusion is about to be revealed. Whatever's been hidden is about to be revealed because it's time, okay? It's time. It's time for this to end. So some sort of truth is going to be revealed that has been hidden. Somebody has been stopping another person's success, or even stopping their own success by pretending, because this is pretending. But now I feel like they're going to be stopped in their tracks in some way. And ideas are thoughts. Somebody, and this is the death of a person, are ideas. So somebody thought something was going to go in a certain direction. That is not the case. It's not the case. Get prepared for some sort of truth to come out. This is the end of deception. It is the end of deception. We have a new beginning here. We do. Saying goodbye or not saying goodbye. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye or they may be saying goodbye. This is goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. 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 So somebody is saying goodbye. They're saying goodbye to something that was an illusion. And I feel like this hurts. This is a painful separation of some sort because this hurts. It does. It hurts. I feel the pain. It's very painful. This is a painful goodbye of some sort. Somebody has been clinging. They have been clinging to something that is not meant for them. And this is a universe card. The universe says no. No, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be authentic. We have to we have to show you the truth. So here comes the truth. One more card. That's it. What is this 8 of cups reversed? The time is now. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to reveal this information. It's time to go. I can't take it anymore. Somebody has reached as low as they can go. And there's something that is going... This is like... There's something that is going to happen that is... It's like the straw that breaks the camel's back. And pushes them over the edge. Somebody's getting pushed over the edge.
Knight of Swords reverse. This is out of control. Knight of Swords reverse is negative, out of control, uh, dangerous, mental health, uh, bully, explosive energy. Out of control. Somebody's losing it. They're losing it. Somebody may be moving too fast, driving too fast. You know, there could, you know, when you get that, the, the Knight of Swords in reverse is like a tower moment. Okay? It's explosion. An explosion of anger. You may have somebody here that is very, very angry and they're out of control. Somebody could be looking for a fight. We have an untrustworthy individual here who has some sort of, who has been lying. This person has been lying. And then we have another person that has some sort of information that is going to tell the world. Anyhow. This is the end of a deceptive situation. Get prepared however it resonates with you. Everybody is going to hear about it. Everybody in your little world, everybody in your little circle is going to hear about this. For some of you, there could be a drug overdose. There could be an accident. Whatever is happening, there is freedom. This is freedom. It's about freedom. This is all about freedom. So get prepared for some truth to be revealed that has to do with freedom. Good luck.